macello What is it? What are you doing? Loading my pistol Mamma mia Marcello, that's not how you load a pistol This is how you load a pistol Alberto, come look at Marcello My fellow humans, buongiorno! We Italians have a rich and fascinating history made of art, creativity, engineering and a long long list of murders, atrocities and internal conflicts. We are good people, but you know how it is, sometimes you just feel the urge to shoot someone in the groin. In the past, our forefathers used to merrily poison their friends, stab their enemies and set strangers on fire, but today we live in a democracy that is trying to take away our guns and our god-given right to own heavy artillery and stockpile weapons of mass destruction. God damn it, this country is a mess. So, my dear government, you may take our 50 caliber ammunition, but there is one thing you cannot take away from Italians. Our pasta. Uh, yeah, I, I was just... I was just trying to justify the fact that I built a rifle that shoots pasta. Why, you may ask? Uh, here it is! Since I was inspired by the Italian rifles of the 1700s, I think we may call this abomination a pasta blunderbuss. A pasta bus. Blunderbuss? Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be, as it is a weird hybrid between a glorified slingshot, an ancient muzzle loader and a 19th century breech loader. And I don't even know if this will actually work, so I guess we should try. Of course, we can't use gunpowder because pasta is not exactly optimized to resist explosions, so we will harvest the power of rubber. And we will try different types of pasta to see which one is the most deadly. And that's a sentence I never thought I would have said. We have seven different types of pasta. Penne, which are sharp and thick. Mezze maniche, which are heavier. Whole wheat fusilli, to see if it makes any difference. Lumaconi, that should explode on impact. And pasta shaped like German bretzels, to enjoy some cultural appropriation. Oh, and also broken spaghetti, to trigger my fellow Italians. To load the weapon, you jam this oversized ramrod into the muzzle until the trigger engages, then you can simply load your ammo through the upper bridge and you're ready to shoot. And yes, for those of you on the other side of the Alps or the ocean, Italians always have some pasta in their pockets. First test, penne against cardboard. Shooting in three, two, one. Okay! Not bad, it didn't go all the way through, but it will still hurt. Time for some mezze maniche. Three, two, one. It exploded. You can see the shape carved into the cardboard. Not bad. And also, this cardboard is quite thick. It's the thickest cardboard I could find, so that will definitely hurt. I'd say this is more of a dangerous toy than a serious weapon, though I would still advise against putting your face in front of the muzzle. Nonetheless, this is still a ranged weapon and the user could get in trouble if the enemy gets too close. We need a backup for melee fighting. Hmm... What about a bayonet? Hmm, <laughs> much better. Whole wheat fusilli. These are quite sturdy, so I have high expectations. These were not very sturdy. Also, we have the first damage to the weapon. Nothing serious, it still works. Time for some Lumaconi, but I don't think this will survive. Yep, a million pieces. 
Actually, no, only the bottom half broke, while it still caused a huge dent in the cardboard. Also, this weapon is more accurate than I would have thought. Can we use this as a shotgun? Let's find out with some rancers! Shooting in 3, 2, 1... That was a bad idea. Ah! It will take a while to clean. No damage and a lot of mess. This was not a good idea. Let's do exactly the same with spaghetti that will crumble into 16 billion pieces. Why am I doing this again? Huh, who cares? Shooting in 3, 2, 1... I'm a fucking idiot! I'm not sure the slow-mo camera was decently focused, but look, we have a victim. Spaghetti can kill. I had a terrible idea. What if we fill a piece of pasta with some metal to make it heavier? Mmm, forbidden cannelloni. Now we're talking! Well, that makes quite a difference. Yep, it pierced to the cardboard and far into the second layer. Not bad at all. So, let's draw our conclusions. Is pasta a good ammo? Not really, but it will still leave a significant bruise. Maybe in the future I will try to accelerate it to higher velocities, that way it should theoretically pierce skin and explode in a thousand shrapnel. That could be fun! Thank you for watching, please consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell to give this weird Italian his daily dose of social network induced dopamine. Speaking of which, I'm also on Twitter and Instagram, so come say hi! See you there and, as always, take care!